Welcome to another Sabbath day singing time, boys and girls. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned last week. So last week, they were looking forward to when Christ was going to come, right? And they had the sign, the day and the night and the day that was like one day. So they knew he was born. And then they were still looking earnestly for the rest of the signs that Samuel the Lamanite had given them. I'm going to read a verse to you really quick. It says, And the people began to look with great earnestness for the sign which had been given by the prophet Samuel the Lamanite, yea, for the time that there should be darkness for the space of three days over the face of the land. So right when he was born, it was a day and a night and a day that looked like one day. And then Samuel the Lamanite told them when he dies, there's going to be three days of darkness. That's pretty scary, right? I mean, look at all this stuff over here. It's pretty scary, right? Lots and lots of destruction. Okay, so they're looking forward to this sign. And then it happens. A lot of this stuff starts to happen. There's fire, there's hurricanes, and there's earthquakes, and there's lightnings, and there's tornadoes. And the whole world is just in an uproar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of these disasters, and it's going to tell us which song we're going to sing. And we're actually going to learn a new song today. So the very first one we're going to do, lightning, because it says there arose a storm, the likes of which had never been seen. Can you believe that? Okay, so there's a storm. So we're going to learn a new song with this lightning, okay? This song is actually in our regular hymn book. It is called, I Know That My Redeemer Lives. I have words for you. I'm going to sing through it one time so you can hear what it sounds like. Join me when I sing it the second time, okay? This is how it goes. this sentence gives. Do you think we can find comfort even when stuff like this is going on? Do you think so? I think we can. Guess who we can find it through? Christ, right? Okay, so they're looking forward, right? They had a sign that he lives, that he was born. Okay, and now they're looking for the sign for when he's going to die. So we are going to move on to the next one. <clears throat> In Third Nephi, we then hear we find out that everyone hears a voice after all of these tornadoes and earthquakes and lightnings and thunderings and fire and hurricanes. And then they hear a voice. Okay. 
And it's the voice of the Lord. And he talks to him about the destruction that happened. He talks about the cities that he caused to be sunk into the sea and the fire that he caused to consume other cities and the ones that were buried with the earth. And he talks about all those things. And he talks about turning our hearts to the Lord. And everyone can hear this voice, okay? And I'll tell you what he says right here. <clears throat> and ye shall offer for a sacrifice unto me a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And whoso cometh unto me with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, him will I baptize with fire, woo, fire and the Holy Ghost, even as the Lamanites, because of their faith in me at the time of their conversion, were baptized with fire and with the Holy Ghost, and they knew it not. Behold, I have come unto the world to bring redemption unto the world and to save the world from sin. Therefore, whoso repenteth and come unto me as a little child, him will I receive, for of such is the kingdom of God. Behold, for such I have laid down my life and have taken it up again. Therefore, repent and come unto me, all ye ends of the earth, and be saved. So he talks about becoming like a little child, right? And that when we're baptized, we'll be baptized with the fire and the Holy Ghost. So let's do fire, okay? <clears throat> and since he talked about becoming like a little child, we are going to sing, I'm trying to be like Jesus, okay? Because you guys can try and be just like Jesus and come to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Okay, so we're going to sing that song next. I'm trying to be like Jesus. Let me get the words for you. <clears throat> Jesus. Do you think that the more we're like Jesus, the more the world will be healed? I know so. If we show kindness to others in deed and in thought, just like D Jesus taught us, then we can heal the world and the world can become whole again. Okay, let's see what's next. So then, after they hear this voice, okay, then they're silent. Very quiet. Can you guys all be quiet for five seconds for me? Ready? On your mark, get set, go. Whew, it's a long time to try and be quiet, right? Okay, so this says that there was silence in the, in the land for the space of many hours. Can you imagine being quiet for many hours? That would be really hard for me. So, uh, then though, they hear a voice again and it's the Lord speaking to them again know what he says he actually says it three times in a row he said how often have I gathered you like a hen gathers her chickens have you guys ever seen a chicken gathering her baby chicks it is the sweetest thing she tucks them right up right up under her wing and guess what a lot of times you don't even know that there's baby chicks under that chicken until the chicken moves and all these baby chicks come running out they are so good at protecting their chickens. And the Lord says, how oft, so how often, how many times have I gathered you like a hen gathers her chickens? He's our protector, right? He protects us from the bad things that are happening in the world. Sometimes the bad things are going to happen anyway, but who can we turn to? We can turn to Christ and he will encompass us about just like a 
chicken gathering her baby chicks. Okay, so we are going to do the earthquake. Okay, see this earthquake? And the song that we're gonna sing with the earthquake is I Feel My Savior's Love. Because he has, he's gathered us. He's gathered us together in families right now, right? It's a little difficult right now, but we're gathered together in families. And when we went to church, we were gathering together in our church houses. And we can gather with the saints. On here on YouTube, we can gather together to sing and to be an example to other people, okay? So we are going to sing. <clears throat> I feel my Savior's love. Let me get my little hearts here. I feel my Savior's love. feel my Savior's love in the simplest things, in a sunset, in my garden, in the beautiful world Heavenly Father has given me. When my little son or daughter hold my hand, I can feel my Savior's love. When I'm praying, when I'm reading my scriptures, we need to make sure that we're doing those things to be in a place where we can feel his spirit and we can feel his love because he loves you so much. Okay. Whew, we're getting down to the last of our disasters here, okay? So, they hear this voice talking to them and saying, how many times have I gathered you? And then, the voice is done, and everyone gathers. Guess where they gather? Remember how we just talked about gathering? They gather at the temple. Mm, isn't that wonderful and beautiful? I want to know who told them, hey, we should go gather at the temple. So they all gather together at the temple, and they're talking about what just happened. They're discussing it. And I'm going to read this verse to you. And it came to pass that while they were thus conversing one with another, they heard a voice as if it came from heaven. And they cast their eyes round about, for they understood not the voice which they heard. And it was not a harsh voice, neither was it a loud voice. Nevertheless, and notwithstanding it being a small voice, it did pierce them that, that did hear to the center insomuch there was no part of their frame that it did not cause them to quake. Yea, it did pierce them to the very soul and it caused their hearts to burn. So they felt that. They felt that piercing in their hearts. Okay, and then guess what? They said they, they didn't understand the voice, so they didn't know what it said. So then, you know what they need to do? They need to put on their listening ears. Do I need to put on some listening ears? Do you guys remember my ears from the week we learned this is my beloved son? I think I need to put on my listening ears. Okay, here. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. Now I can, oh yeah, I can hear much better now. Can you guys put on your listening ears? You might not have big ears like this, but can you do this? Put your hands up to your ears and listen. Okay, so they heard the voice once and they understood it not. They heard the voice a second time and guess what? They still couldn't understand. And then they looked. And they really listened and they heard a voice. And do you know, want to know what the voice said? I'll tell you. Behold my beloved son in whom I am well pleased and whom I have glorified my name. Hear ye him. You guys, it's Heavenly Father. There's not very many times in the scriptures where Heavenly Father speaks to man. But this is one of those times, right? And he's introducing his son, Jesus Christ. He says, this is my beloved son, hear him. So we are gonna sing, remember the second verse to this is my beloved son? 
Nephites gazing into heaven. This verse is about them. It's about them seeing Jesus Christ when he comes down. Because right after Heavenly Father introduces him, he comes down out of heaven wearing a white robe. And they're able to see him. Okay, let's sing that. Just the second verse of This is My Beloved Son. Excellent job. Good job putting on your listening ears. Okay, I'm going to take my listening ears off for a second. So you guys, they heard him. And then they saw Jesus Christ. He came down and he let them feel the prints in his hands and in his feet. Because remember, he died for us. He sacrificed himself for us. And then they knew. They knew that he was alive again. And they were so excited about that. Okay, the first song that we sang, I know that my Redeemer lives. They knew without a doubt in their mind that their Redeemer lived. So last, oh, I forgot to draw a picture for that, huh? That was a tornado for Hear Him. It's hard to hear over a tornado. Tornadoes are really loud. Okay, so we've got our hurricane here, right? Okay, and we are going to sing, I know that my Redeemer lives again. But I'm going to sing it. We are going to sing it two times again, okay? Can you sing it with me both times? share one last scripture with you okay so now right the earth all the disasters stopped shortly after all the disasters stopped there is a beautiful verse 
And I have a sister who sat and talked to me about this verse. Hey, it's my sister's birthday. It was her birthday this week, you guys. And it was her that talked to me about it and pointed out this scripture to me. What is going to heal this earth from being broken up from the floods and the fires and the hurricanes and the tornadoes? Jesus Christ, right? The sun. So I've got a sun here. Oh, the wrong kind of sun. But look what I wrote on the sun. It says the sun. Jesus Christ. Because he is the light of the world and he can heal the world. This very last scripture I'm going to read to you, okay? 3 Nephi 10.10, 10, it says, And the earth did cleave together again, that it stood. And the mourning and the weeping and the wailing of the people did cease. And their mourning was turned to joy. And their lamentations into the praise and thanksgiving unto the Lord Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. Because he came to save them. He came to declare peace and comfort and love. And that's what he can do for me and you. Thank you for joining me this week, and I will see you next week for singing time.